Hello and welcome to the Leaders in Live series. Brought to you by Magnite, I'll be joined by sports industry experts to discuss the power of live sport and how technology can unlock amazing opportunities for advertisers and their agency partners. Today, we're gonna to get the perspective of a media agency to find out why sports advertising is so impactful, the role of live streaming in a media mix, and how programmatic trading can supercharge performance. I'm joined by Michael Whiteside, from IPG Media Brands performance marketing arm, Caneso. Welcome to the show, Michael. Thanks, mate. Great to be here. Right, let's kick off. How much do you see live streaming sport versus linear growing? That, that composition continues to change. Um, it's skewing from linear and moving towards that streaming, as you mentioned. Yep. 35% um, of Australians don't have access to an area within their homes. So that represents significant reach opportunity incremental to linear on itself, mm -hmm. in itself. Um, the State of Origin Game 2 is probably a good example of that. There were uh, three quarters of a million viewers from BVOB perspective, really? which is up 31% year on year. That's huge that, growth. Huge growth. And that continues to, to, to grow and evolve as our um, consumption habits change. Take us to some of the opportunities when it comes to advertisers in live streaming. Why is it so appealing to brands? Live sport carries a, a, a tribal type following. And as a result, I think it remains a pinnacle of appointment type viewing. Mm. It builds cultural relevance. It can build cultural normalization for brands. Um, and the obvious ones in terms of building association and also developing that, developing that brand personality if that alignment is, is done right. Okay, what, what are some of the things that clients ask you when they're looking to advertise in live streaming? What are some of the common objectives that you hear? Live sport typically falls into a broader screens approach, and that's typically focused on brand establishment and message reinforcement and building awareness. And that's typically looked at from an always on type approach across various supply sources. And support, sport is one of those. Mm -hmm. um, when done right or when it's beneficial, and that's from a fan engagement perspective, from an incre incremental audience perspective, or to actually build brand personality. And I think that third motivator in terms of building brand personality is probably the most unique to sport. Streaming within that construct um, diversifies demand into that, into that by bypassing sponsorship exclusivity. But as investment continues to grow from a streaming perspective, I think that investment can then unlock further integration. Let's get technical. Um, I want to touch on programmatic trading. So that's a very important part of that sort of journey, isn't it, for brands to have access to live streaming. Can you explain in layman's terms what programmatic trading is and why it's so important? Sure. Programmatic trading is just a real-time trading of digital inventory. Mm -hmm. It's self-serve for transparency. It allows for aggregation across multiple supply sources, as well as data application for audience relevance and market segmentation. From a Canesso standpoint, we serve into live sport programmatically for many different reasons. One, to curate supply through our partners such as Magnite. Two, to access live sport um, in lieu of sponsorship or upfront commitment. And all of that can be frequency managed across various content sources as well as controlled in campaign from a position and break perspective, from an audience relevance perspective, um, and the ability to optimize in flight. So to enable all of that, the choice and selection of tech and SSP partners is critical to campaign performance. Okay, what advice would you give to advertisers who are looking to activate um, against live sports streaming? I think from a base level, do your due diligence in terms of what the audience composition is, what the incrementality um, opportunity might be. But beyond that, leverage streaming investment to unlock further integration opportunities. And that might be the reverse of how we've conventionally planned a sponsorship, mm -hmm. but that opportunity will continue to, to grow as investment in streaming um, increases. Um, but lastly, and probably most importantly, measure it appropriately. So live sport is a long-term investment. Um, the ROI probably manifests over months, if not years. So look at the brand metrics, bring in MMM modeling to measure that ROI over the long term. Okay, fantastic. Final question, and it's a fun one. If you could play any professional sport, what would it be? <laughs> I'm a big cricket fan, a test cricket fan. So used to play a lot, wasn't quite good enough, mm. obviously. Um, so I'm personally very much looking forward to the Indy series later this year, straight after the AFL and NRL final series on seven. So if you're interested, set up your deals through Magnite soon. <laughs> Fantastic. Michael, thank you so much for joining us today. Great to be here. Thanks again.
That concludes our Leaders in Live series. I hope you found it valuable and entertaining. On behalf of Magnite and the b and team, we look forward to seeing you next time.